What's going on, everybody? Said I'll be back, and I'm back. Today we're doing leg 182 and 183 of a world tour in the A320, the series. Let's see what I have. Going on here. I hit the wrong button. Hit the wrong button. <laughs> Unbelievable. I, I try and mix it up a whole lot. I also play uh, fighting games as well. But it's solely, um, flight simulation for the most part, uh, to the game I like, I'll play it though. It just depends. Alright, so for today's flight, uh, we're going to Hotel Lima Lima Mike. Alright man, I appreciate it. We'll be back on Bloons again too. It's like me and Reaper is, uh, main game that we play together, so. Gila, hotel, sorry. L L Lima Lima Mike. Hotel Lima Lima Mike. It's in Mitiga Airport. Ask me where it is. I don't know. Alright, Mitiga is in Tripoli, Libya. Reaper, you're back. Alright, so today's flight, we're going to climb to flight level 370, and we're going to travel 287 nautical miles, 10,500 on the fuel, 10.4 really, but I just rounded it up. Alright, so it seems pretty straightforward and simple, right? So we are air plus 182, cost index, well... Cross index is always 50. Yeah, we got a flight, man. I'm a little late, but we in here. Alright, let me set this up real quick. I'm just gonna do an instant load. Alright, 9727.1. Was, was it 10.4? Let's cross check that. 10.5. Oh, uh, uh, what you get us? What did you buy us? Alright, let's start the uh, APU. Finish setting up the cockpit. Alright, so we know we're going to 37. Popcorn, chicken fries, and chocolate milkshake. From where? Alright, so exclamation point. So we're taking off on 11. Checkers? That doesn't sound too bad. Are you going to go get it, or are they bringing it to you? We're landing 10. Damn, 10 only had a VOR approach? That is wild. We're going to do some work today. Not bad at all. Coming to me, I'm... <laughs> I hear that, I hear that. Alright, APU bleed on external power disconnected. Let's remove the stairs and the GPU and the cones. Beacon on. Let's get our pushback stuff together. Alright, in the meantime, I will 
pull up charts really fast because I don't know which way it's anything. Airport there. So we're here and we need to go to runway 11. Oh, that's a short taxi, so I'm going to push off to the left. Okay, that's simple. Alright, let's get some takeoff values. 10 flaps 2, packs on, sync, sync, calculate, send the CDU up 04. You fucked up and used the wrong card? Well, damn! How does one do that? Alright, so check out these messages real quick. Alright, back here, that's all set up. Alright, we got that there. Oh, it wants us to do a loop de loop. How cute. How about if we just remove the TOC? Your See that there it is. That looks a lot smoother. Copy. Insurance? Who needs insurance? All right, uh, we got tail to the left. Release parking brake. He said I do. Trust me, I do too. Starting push. Mine just got renewed for six months. 300 bucks. Two cars. Alright, so we're pushing. Uh, beacon is on. So make sure I didn't forget anything. Let's go ahead and put transponder in the auto. Well, six months. By, by annual. No, buy it twice a year. <laughs> twice a year. I don't know what I was trying to. I feel like there was a terminology I was trying to use, but it just wouldn't come out. Right, starting number two. Because biannually would be twice every two years, right? So. Or biannually, yeah, I, I don't know. Today is not the day. You missed the ferrets, Lord Jesus, help us. Number two starting. Sounds like it is. Them damn ferrets. Brake set. Alright, starting number one. It's a good start on two. These lights off. That's crazy. We only got like 50 more legs left. 50. We're at 182 of 230. I, you know what? I think it might be 235 because I added an extra one in there, I think. Did I actually add that in here? Let me see. Yeah, I added a leg in here. It says, let me 235. Definitely closing the gap. Left is clear. Right is clear. It's crazy that I've been doing this thing for uh, over a year literally been over a year all right that's a good start on both engines let's hit that boom predictive wind shear on let's make sure our flight controls work careful left right up down trim 0.4 Flaps two on spoiler already on. Okay.
I was talking to a guy the other day, and he was like, man, that dedication. I'm like, bro, if I started it, I might as well finish, right? I'm just going to take this turn right here. Alright, so from what I remember from the charts, we can make the turn here. First left, second left, and then, um... That should take me to the runway. Alright, left is clear, right is clear. Ooh. Yeah, that wind looks like it's going right down 10 anyway. Right here, that second left. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Straightforward to me. Uh, let's hit both of these. We're going pretty damn fast here. Pretty darn fast. 30 knots taxi. It's crazy. Let's slow it down. Uh, Alright, lights on. Hi Captain, the cabin is now secure for takeoff. Alright, let's rock and roll. Okay. Coming through 1500, climb thrust. Oh yeah, I remember that, um, look at that road. I need to find out what the hell is just out there in the middle of the water like that. That's crazy. Flap one. That's what she said. don't want to live by but then why would you put your house in between another big road in the airport that main highway looking thing right there and then one road is out there I guess that's worth a a, a Google real quick somebody had to seen that before Long road. 
Carthage Airport. Or maybe if I do. Yeah, a lot that goes into it, yeah. I would not say that you're wrong. Let's see what I can find. Let me know if the plane is doing anything crazy because I am. All right, here it is. I found it. It's called Fort Santiago of Chicle. All right. Now we just have to Google Fort. Santiago of Oh, there's no E in that. All right, here you go. That's what I found right there. Alright, so we do transition altitude and lights go off. We're getting a history lesson. Shit, might as well. What did it say? Uh, Chicle is a small island located in the northern part of Lake Tunis, which houses Fort Santiago Chicle, a former Roman citadel which was reconstructed by the Spanish governor of Valletta between 1546 and 1550. The fort was completely abandoned in 1830 and left to deteriorate. Damn! Chicle was declared a National Cultural Heritage Asset in December 93 and is owned by the Ministry of Culture of Tunisia. The fort is being restored through Tunisian-Spanish cooperation involving the National Heritage Institute and the University of Madrid. Excavation and cleaning took place in 94, followed by archaeological archeolo excavations in 95. These found mosaics and charts dating back to the Roman and Byzantine periods in the 4th and 5th century. That's why it's still there, is because it's a national monument to some sort now. Alright, so just looking at this on our flight plan, it looks kind of iffy down towards the end. So let's go over to plan mode and scroll down a little bit. Uh, yeah, so we don't want to do all that. Um, that MTG is. So what we're going to do is delete MTG. He said the pipe be packed and she ready to sit. <laughs> Once more, Captain Pilot. <laughs> Alright, so while we're doing that, I will set up. Alright, matey. Are your ferrets asleep right now? left and we headed south and then we're gonna head back up north he said yeah those lazy bastards are always sleep 
Only one is moving around in the cage. That's so hilarious to me. Alright, let me go look real quick. Yep, it's the one rolling around. Wake your ass up! I went in the, uh, the chat and said, rats! They're probably going to jump me. I can't believe a thousand, one hundred people are watching this shit right now. <laughs> They're in here watching Ferret sleep. Are they fighting? They are fighting. It's like a Pokemon battle. That's crazy. Look at this. Alright, man. That's hilarious. So I reckon we're gonna have a smooth climb. And a smooth cruise. I will let you know what the weather is at uh, Mitiga Airport here in a second. Bear with me while I pull it up. Alright, so at Mitiga right now, we got winds from 07 to at 7 knots. So I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm like 207 knots. It's 072. At seven, so ten seems to be a decent choice for a runway. It's clear, 25 degrees, and QH is 1017. Does not seem bad at all. So this should be very smooth. doing a VOR approach at 10, so, let's see if we can start with the airport chart, and the VOR 10, alright, let's take a quick look at the airport, so the airport is decently sized, uh, they run away at 11,155 feet, their airport elevation is 30 feet, alright, Both ends of the runways have stopways, which is cool. 820 feet stop going. 820 foot stop going, sorry. Uh, we're landing on 10, so I'm guessing if we can get down and stop by Charlie, great. Take Charlie to Bravo straight in. Or if we make it down to Delta, then Delta to. Taxi that is. But make the left and then right on Bravo. Alright. VOR approach into 10. So do we have the Durka transition set in here? Nope, it is now. So, I believe we're going to start descending this little bit closer. We're at 30,700 for 
or Command Prairie. I am hungry. And I'm like, uh, the perfect time to go grab something to eat. Big boy. <laughs> you the one with the Gengar. I can't, I can't get that on there. Let's see. Let's see if I can get this uh, shot out right this time. Yeah, I went in. I went in Monday and Tuesday. Did I like, do it right this time? I did. Check my man out. He be playing Final Fantasy. What do you mean? And some other fun ones. Did you ever beat Toomba? I came across that beat the other day and I was like, a tomba? Beat tomba one and two. They need to probably do a remaster on all of those. All the like old classic games. Beat them multiple times, oh okay. Probably like me and Sonic, then I'll probably beat all the other Sonic games a million times and like 100% beat them. They are getting Tomb One Reboot. As I said, I think they should do all of the classics a remaster, a remake. But that's just me. Siphon filter. Lots of siphon filter. Let me see here. I need to check my email as well because I messaged um. found some bugs and multiverses and I emailed them with a screenshot 
And then the asshat who responded to me had the nerve to say he doesn't understand what I'm saying. And I'm like, dude, you have a whole screenshot there. A whole screenshot to show you what I'm talking about. It's kind of kind of straightforward. A perk that's supposed to be there is not there. Um, Garnet has two signature perks. One of them is for her music when she sings the songs and gets a little power up. And the other one is when she shoots her gauntlets. Her, um, what's the thing called? She leaves a star wherever her gauntlets explode at. And then you can kind of track back to that star if you need to, right? And it's actually an attack, or you can use it as a um, safe way to get across the map, right? So that perk to for the star to appear when you shoot the gauntlets is not there anymore. And they did a couple updates, and I checked the patch notes. They didn't say anything about removing them, so I don't know. Then the other one for sure is the emote was a, sh a salt shaker. So anytime you know you want to taunt somebody, you emote and you can see the salt shaker. They salty, right? Well, I have that as my very first emote to you. When I press it now, um, something completely different emotes. I'm like, what the hell? And yes, Iron Giant is back. I think they made him taller too. I'm, I looked at him the other day. I was like, well, today, sorry. And I was like, damn, why is he so big? I really think they made him bigger than he was. Iron Giant been broken since day one. Definitely, I, I thought that as much too. See somebody did a comparison. I see a lot of complaints. Iron Giant is still too OP. One person I think is too damn good is freaking, um, what's the electricity dude? Black Adam, that's the guy. I think that motherfucker is... Or Garnet's moves are just way too slow, man. I'm like, I can't combat with him at all. Like, his reaction times, or he'll get hit and he'll swing back so damn fast. But that's just me. Giant is definitely bigger. I think he is bigger than what he was. Uh, we got less than 160 miles to go. 154. His first leg. This first leg is the longer of the two. Did I said I didn't even finish that up, setting up the second one. Taller and skinnier. What the hell they didn't do? Besides, get on my damn nerves. Yeah, sec second leg is 243. It's not, um, as long as. Yeah, this one was like three something, if I remember correctly. So, what's it saying? We got on flight time. 15 minutes. 
sounds about right. Sounds about right. Got some steaks, yo. I made them the other day. Chicken Parmesan, no, I got steak. We got a company message. How much fuel are we gonna have when we land? I'm sitting here thinking we might not have to park. We might be able to just taxi back, hold on. Two hundred and eighty miles, that's not even an hour's worth of fuel on paper, but if we have more than five thousand pounds, then we're not gonna park. Well, it's gonna be cutting it kinda close now, I'm looking at it. You mean you got your shoes? What shoes? What you mean, what you mean? JR Ryder. The key to the team. Cruising down the street in my 6 fold. Well, I wasn't trying to cook it to be well done, but it, they're very thin. Very thin. So I think just out of you know me getting it to a medium well kind of area and then it just it just ended up well done. It wasn't done intentionally. They're just really thin. It's, I'm not used to cooking that kind of cut of steak. When I say thin, it's probably this pen in width is thicker than what these steaks are. They're so thin. Four seconds each side. Let rest here for grill marks. I didn't do it on the grill. I did it in, um... What kind of pan would you call that? I can't remember. DJ D Smooth, appreciate the follow. Thank you, sir. How was your evening? <laughs> it's good. Nice to hear. 
car just at a good time. We're about to start our approach now. Do you fly flight simulator on PC? Or on Xbox? Alright, so I need to send out brief this, but just for starting off, we hit our final fix at 1500, so. Checking it out. Oh, okay, got any questions? I'm gonna set 1500 into my MCP for now. So that's what we will shoot for. Oh, must reduce. Okay, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm guessing. No, not yet. Well, I'll give you some visuals. Um, currently, right now, we left Tunis in, in the Carthage. I can't remember. But, um, we are going to Mitiga Airport. Tunis is in Tunisia, sorry. So, that's where we left. And we are going to... Mitika Airport in Tripoli, Libya. And then after that, we'll be going to Malta. Malta. Both relatively short flights. Um, our descent point is coming right up here. And probably five miles or so. Nope, two and a half miles. Even better. But yeah. Flight simulator is pretty smooth if you're into um, aviation. Right, come on, airplane, go down. Alright, there she is. Alright, guys, we started our initial. Let's just see, no. Who is this guy? Anybody know this guy? L's in the, ch L's in the chat for camp, because I don't even know who he is anymore, bro. Don't get it if you're looking for hot air balloons. <laughs> Who is Cam, bro? Alright, so we're descending rather fast, but we're descending. It'll catch up to itself here in a second. So let's brief our approach. So we're doing the VOR DME runway to 10. At Tripoli. Alright. VOR frequencies 113.4. Final approach course is 102. Our final fix. And when we enter our descent to the runway, should be a 4 DME from the VOR and at 1500 feet. So that's why I set 1500 feet. A psychotic hallucination. <laughs> That's why I set 1,500 feet into the MPC. Because it'll just send me down there. Alright. So, airport elevation is 30 feet. Runway is 30 feet. Perfect. Alright, so from the starts of it, it looks like we'll intercept Derka. And then we have a DME arc. It's 14 DME from the VOR. The VOR is here. Right? And this distance here is 14 miles. So, actually this one said Dirk is 16 miles. So, come around this arc, which is the arc is 14 miles. All the way to Conch. Conch is our instrument approach fix. That is 13.8 miles. Then we come here to Delta 2 9 or 1 Juliet, which is 10 miles. Then we'll come here to. What does FB stand for? I mean. Alright, so we've caught up with our glide path finally. Speed breaks up. Um. 
FD10, I can't remember off the top of my head what the FD stands for again, but that's basically where we intercept and start descending down. And it's at 10 miles. And then you go straight in. Um, our Our decision height or decision altitude is going to be decision height is 670. Sorry, and decision altitude is 700. So let's go to our page where we can enter the destination data. And 700 with our DA. Alright, let's get a weather update real quick. Mitar, and we're going to he. Alright, winds are. Oh, that is completely different than what I had. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's take a look at what this is saying. Did the winds really switch up that much? Was I looking at the wrong thing? Why are we playing in the baseball stadium? What do you mean a baseball stadium? Yeah, this is giving me completely different weather than what the flight simulator thing is giving me. Uh, I'm getting 0 0.72 or 7 knots, but then that says 270 at 22 knots. Oh, what time was this? Uh, oh, this is old. 2023? What the hell? Yeah, so we can't follow that. I had to look at the date and time on that. Like, what the hell? The map that said, let's play baseball and gave you a diamond? What, do you, what, what does that mean? What map? This right here, the chart. Is that what you're referring to, the chart? Oh yeah, the chart, no, it didn't give me a diamond. It, I'm just drawing the flight path. It's, it's a DME arc. DME stands for distance measuring equipment. So basically, the curve is the arc. And it keeps us 14 miles away from the VOR. And the VOR is a navigation tool, which is basically on the airport in this case. So if you follow everything it says here, it should get you to a certain point to where you should be able to land the airplane if weather is permitting. I wanted to play baseball. I really didn't, but okay. All right, so you see this blue arrow up here is me and we're approaching Durka whoopsie so let me erase that really quick and once we approach Durka we'll start to, to turn towards Conch and keep the 14 mile distance between us and the VOR Alright, so there's that turn. So it started to turn early, actually. So we're not even going to fly over Durka, but... Alright, so let me finish briefing this um, approach. So, decision altitude 700. And our VOR descent angle is 3 degrees, so it's a standard descent. Um, Alright, so we're looking good. Alright, so... We also have approach lighting systems, which is great. Pappy's on the left, right? Missed approach, climb straight ahead to 1500 feet. 
Then turn left to Durka, right intercepting radio 015, climbing to 2000, hold, Earth directed. So we already have 1500 feet in there, so that shouldn't be an issue. Alright, so we're coming through 10,000 feet, let's turn on the lights. Airport's right off to the left side there. I see it. Yeah, weather well, looks pretty clear here, so that, that weather report that we got from Nightbot, very old. All right, so we're gonna have to put out some uh, speed brakes here to help us descend down and keep our flight path. We don't have any altitude restrictions here or risk constraints, so. Can we do a loop-de-loop? -loop? Um, unfortunately, no, the airplane won't let me do a loop-de-loop -loop at all. I would have to turn some systems off in order to do it. And no dirt samples, because I know you're going to ask. Yes, sir. I, I definitely am on uh, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday. Those are for sure days. How was your flight? Alright, let's clean this up since we caught up with the path. I just uh, briefed the VOR approach with the DME arc into, uh, what's it called? Uh, Mid Mitiga Airport. It crashed? You know why it crashed? That sucks. What's your PC specs? It looked really smooth when I was looking at it. Alright, there's transition altitude. That 330 is very buggy. That was the other thing that I hated about it. I can't wait for the 800, but Lord, I hope they figure out the systems, because that thing crashes a lot. It's time to set the butcher blade and stuff <laughs> to refine the Holy Girl. A I-5 core at 3060. Okay, well, you could definitely use a upgrade. Bye, Captain. The, um, the cabin is now secure for landing. On the video card, but when I saw it, it looked pretty good. How much RAM? I-5, definitely could use upgrade on that too. I think you'd be perfect at the I-7. One point five terabyte. That's um hard drive for RAM. Should be like um gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, it looked pretty good. Even if it was an i5, it looked pretty good for uh, if it was. He <laughs> he said no idea. If you go to like your um my computer or this PC and then go to properties, it'll tell you what your specs are. So like, oh you're not on PC, okay. I think that it so that still works. And I need to up change that because now I have a, a i9, but. It's I-7? Okay, yeah, it looked pretty good. I was like, oh, that's smooth. Alright, there's 2,000 feet. Um, we're descending to 1,500, though. Uh, airport and runway's in sight. We're coming up on the uh, final fix here. 4.5 DME. So I should start setting up. This flaps one. Let me know tomorrow for sure, for sure. Alright, there's flaps two. Gear down, lights on. Oh, yes, sir, thanks for stopping in. 
See you, man. Flaps three, flaps four. All right, so we're on course. I'm just gonna disconnect the autopilot now because we have the runway. This builds no sense in even trying to. So at this point, if you did not see the runway or the lights, I would question it, but I will continue down. But then once you got to 700, if you still didn't see runaway or lights, you might as well go around. Ooh, I slapped by some wind a while ago. But since we have a visual, we're good. <laughs> so that was a VOR approach in a nutshell. Um, Basically, it just sends you down to a certain point, and you better see something because if you don't, you're gonna have to go around. You want a butter? Alright, I'll see what I can do. I've had some pretty hard ones, Pause. One but I, I definitely have had some pretty good ones too. I think like negative 16 was probably Madeira. Yeah, because isn't that like in Portugal, I think? Or slightly high. I can hear it above. Cristiano Ronaldo. 500. All right. So we already crossed 700. Four. All right. So we got three or white. It's kind of blending into a 300. Two white, two red. There we go. Oh, let's see if we can hold that all the way down. 200. Are coming straight down the runway, so that's good. 100. Woo. Got some down drafts there. 50, 40, 30, 20. Retard. Five. Hold it. Oh. How bad was that? First throw set. Did actually make this turn. Up really quick. 89. Oh, that's perfect. Let's crank this smug. There we go. Yeah, I figured I'd be able to. Hey, the weather was too perfect, man. Thank you, man. Thanks for stopping in again. Alright, so as promised, we're not going to stop. We're just going to let the brakes cool because I did mash them really, really hard there. Uh, appreciate the lurk, man. And we'll start to set up for the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know. We got 5,960 pounds. I think we'll be fine. Uh, trying to get to the next airfield. It's not too far off. Right, let me slow down my taxi though. Give myself a fighting chance here. Um, come on, upload. I might have to do it manually, y'all. Because it's acting up, alright. It is acting up. Alright, let me put the flight plan in the chat. Alright, so we got Hotel Lima Lima Mike slash. 
Lima, Mike, Mike, Lima. Okay, we're gonna be slow it down a little bit. So far, so good. A I B one eighty three fifty. Supposed to be climbing to twenty eight thousand. Okay. Flight plan take off on ten. Make sure we're still going in the right direction. Okay. Direct to shell. S H E L L. Then Last check, okay. Sheldon Mike seven twenty six to Sarki S A R K I. Now I need to check, double check this. Then Sarki November nine eight two. GZO, all through Oscar. Perfect. Alright, once we get here, I'll put the brakes on. Hopefully, the brake fans did their job. I'll double check just to be safe, though. Alright, parking brake is set. Alright. Then from GZO, that's all we got. All right, so then we're landing on runway five here. RNAV five. No stars. Okay. Clear the discount. All right, next we just need weights. Ninety-seven twenty-seven point three. 97 slash 27.3 You're doing a lot of things? I am too. I am too. Alright, so... We are taking off from Hotel Lima Lima Charlie. Runway 10. Perfect. That's perfect. Think that all right, calculates in the CDU, it looks basically the same. All right, so center rudder trim one, two, three, four, three, four, flaps two on that. Let's just go ahead and throw TCAS on, lights on. And I'd say we're ready to go. We're going to 20, 28,000. All right. I say we're good. We got 58,400 pounds. That should be enough. Oh, one thing I just remembered I forgot to do. I'm going to line up and hold. Update the banner. Update the banner. Hold. Tell Lima Lima Mike. To Lima Mike Mike Lima. Checked. All right, let's rock and roll. Break fans off. Take off, man. Flex SRS. All in the
again. Autopilot look like it ain't doing such a great job. Uh, yeah, lower that nose, buddy. Bye bye, Mitsuka Airport. It was nice visiting. Although it was a very short visit. Alright. Let's go. What's up? Alright, climbing 9,000, 28,000. Climbing at 5,000 feet per minute, too. Yes, 10,000 feet, like so. Alright, there's our after takeoff checklist complete. This next leg is really short. Uh, I want to make an edit. It says we're going to have 1.9 extra fuel. It should be fine. It'll probably be a little bit more once we get to cruise. It'll stretch out a little bit. But I want to see what this thing looks like closer. Why can't we just go straight into the mall, if that's even a thing, and skip GZO? Let's pull up some charts here. to Malta. Alright, so we're on charts uh, airport. Obviously important. Uh, arrival. No arrival. Approach. RNP 5. 5 is a very short one. Let's get it on 3 1. We would almost be. Five is fine though, just from the angle we're coming at. R95, right? So let's see. 
Yeah, we don't need GCO, so I'm gonna take GCO out. That'll save us some time, guys. Be a little bit more uh, efficient. There we go. Straight in, basically. 174 miles to go. Now we got an extra 2.4. It'll probably still be more. Than Right, I'm gonna do this thing. I'm gonna grab something to eat and drink really quick. I will be right back.
No, wait. I just got back. I went to get something to eat. You install multiverses. Yeah. Low fuel. I had to warm up my steak.
9,400 for 3,000. Runway is basically right in front of us. We're going straight to B Mall. Alright, decision height is less clear. 896 and decision altitude. <coughs> Observation wind zero four zero at four. LX wing five. Could have took any runway really before. Alright, we're basically on approach. I hit the approach button, there we go. And then once we got to like Vate Beckham, we were on approach. So me to kind of gauge how far out are we? A little over 15 miles. Dev on point. Alright, lining up. There's transition altitude. Whoa. So let me put flaps one right now. <coughs> What is that go on altitude? 3,000? Right, I already had one in here. We need to go iPad, alright. We're coming up on 10 miles, right? Oh, I didn't put the right sound. I don't care about that right now. Um, 10 miles, gear down. <coughs> Thousand seven hundred pounds left. I think we should be good for at least one or two go around if need be.
2000. Nice looking countryside there. That side looks really good, but then this side right here, I would have to open in here. Decision height was 896. Where are we? Could actually park there and make sure I've cleaned up properly. Sending out the rudder trim. <coughs> Alright, we're looking good. some parking people there I think I might take them up on their offer
write some more. Break set. Masters off. Beacon off. Fuel pump off. Welcome to Malta, where the time is, I don't know what the time is, uh, 10.34 a.m. We are severely low on fuel, 20, well not severely, but 2,380 pounds. Yeah, we had a go around and two left in this. Um, let's see. From here at Malta, our next leg is looking to lead us to Lima, India, Romeo, Lima, India, Romeo Uniform, Herb, Airport, I don't even know what that is, uh, it's in Rome. Mm. It's in Rome. Ah, uh, let me take a quick look. It's awfully short. I like the way it looks, though. But it's awfully short, but I mean, not too short. I could definitely make it in and out, but it should be fun. Ah. Uh, to Liru, and then I think after that, uh, we go to uh, Lima, India, Papa Romeo. Is that another two piece, two leg flight, or is it this one? Let me see. Yeah, it's another two leg, second leg being a little, you know? The two leg with the first leg being a little bit longer. Yeah, I'll, I'll do two and one. 184 and 185. And that'll be Wednesday. Wednesday, yep. Wednesday morning, because I have to work at night. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Been a long day. Been a long day color quits here let's see who we can um who we can raid there's quite a few people on right now where's Dane at Dane is currently flying um I guess we can go check in on Dane because I always catch him at the end since we kind of our flights kind of overlap each other. Or who else is there? Uh, it's either Dane or Stu. Dane has more viewers than Stu, so. But Stu is also playing Minecraft. That probably might be in. But hell. We'll raid. Oh, we can't. He won't allow us to. Does Monte allow us to? So I'll catch you guys later. We'll see what Monte's doing. Have a good night. Peace.